What's up, everyone? I am Magicide. I just wanted to really quickly fill you guys in in two little bullet points that I forgot and did not include in my original video, channel update video from a couple days ago. Uh, the first of which is that I recently started up a Patreon account. Um, if you're following kind of the news surrounding YouTube, there was a big controversy earlier this year, the so-called adpocalypse, where a lot of channels were really being hurt because the way it works is most channel, or the way it works is that when a YouTube content creator is able to monetize their videos, all that monetization is basically reliant on advertising. And uh, there was a lot of videos and content creators out there that were having these ads play on their video and they were able to monetize their videos. And the ad individual advertisers are kind of viewing these, these videos and these channels and whatnot and saying, well, we don't want to be associated with them. So they started pulling out. And unfortunately, that really hurt a lot of, you know, actual like legitimate content creators out here because YouTube started to demonetize their videos. They implemented a kind of an algorithm that flagged, indiscriminately flagged a whole bunch of videos as being, you know, non-advertiser friendly when there wasn't any nudity, any kind of uh, cussing or swearing or violence or anything else that would be indicative of, you know, an advertiser being a little leery of being associated with that. So... That's kind of where YouTube is at right now. And YouTube has never been static. It's always been kind of the wild, wild west, and it's always going to be in a state of flux. And I, I feel like I don't know where YouTube is going to go in the future. And as this channel grows and progresses, you know, I need to think about long-term solutions and viability for this. I said in my introduction video that I was just kind of doing this for kicks, and which basically means that I, I was kind of putting a laissez-faire kind of spin on it, you know, and just maybe being kind of a hobbyist. But as time has progressed over the last few months and producing videos, I'm really, I think I've really breached that kind of permeable barrier in between being a hobbyist and actually being kind of a novice. You know, I really want to make this as professional looking as possible. And I've been continuously putting out new content almost on a daily basis. So I don't think I'm a hobbyist anymore. I, I don't think that that's really applicable to me. And I really want to maybe do this actually full time. I, that's kind of my goal. And when I set up a Patreon account, I was a little hesitant at first because there are some people, I've seen some channels out there that do it as kind of a money grubbing type of aspect. And I don't really want to seem that way. I've looked at Patreon personally as a sort of platform to let people kind of put their their money where their mouth is, so to speak. You know, it's like if you have something that you very much enjoy, like a content creator here on YouTube, um, and you feel like your money would go really great to supporting them, Patreon is a very good platform for that. And I don't think my channel is any different. I know I'm still relatively new, but I'm definitely have improved my content and I'm continuously putting it out and I'm getting much, much better as time goes on. And obviously, as time goes on, we're going to get more subscribers and, you know, we're going to hopefully have some maybe better features in the future. One of my goals for Patreon right now, if you look at the Patreon page, is to actually build a new computer. Um, I built my com current computer in 2009. I bought all of the components in mid-2009 and then building it later on that year, like right around the end of the year, beginning of 2010. Um, and my components in my computer are starting to show their age. Unfortunately, I can't really do too, too much upgrading because of the motherboard. Um, I have managed to upgrade the graphics card, of course, but I'm going to need a new computer. The Basically, the, if you're not familiar with how to create videos for YouTube, you know, you record, and then once you're done recording, then you have to go through an editing process. And then once you're done editing it, then you have to export it into the file format that you want. And then once that's finished, you go to YouTube, you upload it, once the uploading happens, there's like a processing period and then you can publish your video. And the problem is, is that is a long time consuming process. And I only have the one computer to do it on. And basically, if I built a new computer with brand new uh, top of the line components, I could play and record on that computer on the new one and then transfer the files over to the computer that I'm currently using to basically edit, export and upload because when you're doing these exporting and uploading and, and editing and all that stuff, it, um, it does take a lot of your computer's resources and it doesn't really produce the type of environment conducive to actually playing and recording new ones. So you kind of have to, when you're done playing and recording, you have to, 
you know, basically not do anything with your computer and just let it export and upload and all that. And I'm hoping to actually fix that. But that's but that's just kind of my long term goal with Patreon. If you actually really do like the content that I'm providing or see any kind of um, viability or any kind of um, if if you see me actually continuing on with this in the years to come, which I really hope to do, um, consider becoming a patron. I'm never going to shove this down your throat. This is the only time that I'm actually going to make mention of the Patreon. I will include links in the description of all the videos that I do from now on. And of course, there's a link in my YouTube channel's page. But other than that, this is going to be it. Um, the second bullet point that I really want to talk about is live streaming. Um, I've always thought that I was going to end up having to do live streaming and kind of cringing. I'm not really a big fan of it personally, but I know that if you're a content creator that it kind of goes hand in hand. It's almost something that's obligatory in this day and age. And I am no different. So I think I'm going to have to do that. What I was, my original strategy was is to wait until I had a certain number of subscribers on YouTube first and then start doing Twitch live streaming on Twitch. Um, but the problem with that is is that it's kind of like a chicken and the egg. I've had a few people tell me that if I started out on doing YouTube and Twitch at the same time, you know, I could have people discovering me on Twitch that might come over and subscribe to my YouTube channel and vice versa, right? But my problem was is that if I started live streaming without actually having a subs subscriber base, is that I didn't really want to live stream to an empty channel. I mean, who wants to do that? And that's kind of the problem that I was having. And uh, I think even though... You know, we're still a smaller channel. I, I think doing live streaming on Twitch right now would be very beneficial because, you know, it'd be allowing me to break into that new platform and for one and for two, hopefully, you know, having other people, you know, discover me when they might not normally have. I'm not entirely sure when I'm going to start live streaming. I'm hoping to do it relatively soon. Um, I'm recording this at the beginning of October of 2017 and the holidays are quickly approaching. I'm not sure if I want to wait until afterwards or if I want to do it before. It's still kind of up in the air. As far as the Patreon goes, I do have a kind of a tiered level system there. And one of the tiers is that I will set up a patron only live stream once that ball starts to roll, I guess. Um, I'm planning on maybe doing that, say, once a month, but uh, we'll see. As far as like doing live streams, um, I'm trying to work out like an actual schedule so I can be consistent with it. I don't really just want to throw a live stream out there every once in a while. You know, I want to do this uh, on a schedule. So these are the things that I just really wanted to update to you guys about. If you really like what I'm doing here, con uh, consider becoming a patron. That would be very, very much appreciated. And as far as the live streaming goes, um, I'll, keep you guys, I'll keep you guys in the loop. I'll probably produce a small update video letting you know, hey, I'm, I'm going to be live streaming soon, you know, and, um, probably give you guys the schedule so you guys know. So I'll see you guys next time, hopefully, and uh, take care. Have a good one.